If you're not going to play those ACNs, should you sell them now? What's going on with Hidden Fate sealed product prices and Quick Ball? Should we buy them all? We're going to cover all those topics and more. This is Pokemart. What is up? Turtle here and welcome to Pokemart. This is going to be a little bit of news as well as secondary market examine, uh, examination just because the news does affect the secondary market obviously. We're going to start with a new product that is dropping in May. And that's the Legends of Galartins featuring Zamacenta V and Zacian. So these will be out in May 22nd, so it is after VMAX release and it's typ those typical $25 tins featuring a pretty nice promo and it is going to be the legendary dogs and maybe this is why if you do have some Zacians and you're considering selling them but um, if you're definitely not going to play them maybe you should just offload them uh, as there will be a promo coming out later in May and presumably these are going to be featuring alternate artworks which could be really cool uh, obviously Zacian is really strong right now taking the last regionals first second and third place and when VMAX Rising does drop, uh, there's going to be a lot of cool VMAXs in there. Maybe this will be Zamazenta's time to shine. So I feel like both of them could be pretty good bets. Uh, and I feel like this will be one of the better sealed products to pick up uh, in the coming months. And uh, if you do want to pick up this product, you can actually order off of Game Nerds right now. These things will retail for $25. You can pick up the set of two of them for $37.47. That's basically 25% off. Uh, I think you have to spend, basically, if you buy set two sets of them, you'll get free shipping. Otherwise, shipping is $5. Uh, and actually, if you use the link in the eye or in the link down below in the description, you actually can help support myself. So um, yeah, if you want to save a little bit of money, you won't, it doesn't come out for a little bit of time, but hey, you know, save 25%. All right, the next piece of news is the next 2020 holiday sets. Um, so this is going to be kind of like the next thing of Hidden Fade, Shiny Legends, those kind of things. And we all know that there was a cool Japanese set called Tag All Stars, where basically a lot of cool reprints for some really useful cards. And we're finally going to get it, but it's not coming until like September. Um, and it's going to be kind of like a tapered release where something will be out uh, like some kind of pin thing in September and then maybe like tins in October eventually you get like the pokeball thing and an ETB and then a premium box is going to be tapered um, to be honest I'm not looking forward to this that much I feel like Hidden Fates had you know shinies which is actually like a very real Pokemon thing uh, it's in like almost all the games and stuff and you want to go shiny hunting and stuff like that this is just kind of like straight reprint and so late, you know, where a lot of these cards are no longer relevant. Uh, so this set, I have to say, it doesn't really excite me and I am really not a fan of kind of like a new max rarity after a set comes out, especially this late. Um, so I definitely don't think it's going to be as nearly as hyped as Hidden Fates. But obviously there's some cool stuff in here, things like this. <laughs> I do like the Dedene. And the Trev Noirs, you know, Trev Noirs doing great in Expanded right now. But then uh, I feel like the rest of these, you know, yeah, they're, they're cool new artworks. Uh, these new gold arts are kind of cool, but I don't know, it feels like, feels a little cash grabby to me, more so than normal. Uh, but we can expect this in basically the fall. And speaking of Trevnoir, how is he doing? Again, he is doing really well in Expand. I feel like I don't see him as much in Standard anymore. Uh, but if you were to pick one up off TCG Player, you're still looking at $16 and off of eBay. Uh, basically around that point, actually a little bit more on eBay. You can get one, or it seems like these are all sold listings. Uh, last one was sold for $18. Still a very good pick. I haven't seen these things in like my local Target in quite a while, but if, if you ever do see one, I do think it's worth picking up. Uh, you can kind of like resell just the promo. Assuming you can get out of those that box without tear, like uh, the tabs destroying the card. Uh, you can sell the card for almost the price of the box and then you get some four packs in there as well. Taking a look at some other really important cards right now, Dedene is still doing very well. Uh, maybe it's like the best thing to do turn one, or the only thing to do turn one if you have a really crummy hand. Uh, just the base art going for 35, rainbow for 42. What else we got? All right, 
Sword and Shield. Um, so actually this set is kind of, feels like things are starting to settle down and nothing too surprising here. And the Zacian, I think this thing when it first came out like during pre-release was like 80 and just kept trickling down. Now we're down to 50 for the gold Zacian. Uh, full art is 30. Um, and I think the regular is still like 20. Oh no wait. Uh, yeah, 25. So kind of like we're talking about that, that you know, the new tin it come, come March, like this thing, it'll, everything will go down because if you need Zacians to play, just pick up the tin. If the, the regular art can't go for 25 at that point. Uh, so that's kind of what I'm talking about. If you do have Zacians that you don't plan on using, maybe now is a good time to get rid of them. Uh, we'll just kind of trick, trick through here. Yeah, everything is basically the lowest ones are about 50 off TCG player. Quick Ball, such a good card. We're going to talk more about Quick Ball in a little bit. But the gold, gold quick ball. We haven't pulled one of these yet. That would be nice. Guys selling for a nice $37 bill. And then this is the regular Zacian. Uh, quick balls off eBay. Actually a little bit cheaper. Looks like you can pick up some of them for $30. All right, so I got a crazy idea about um, almost always buying into like a lot of a modern card is almost always a terrible idea uh, but quick ball did kind of pique my interest so definitely the most widely used card from the sword and shield set it's basically in every deck uh, discard a card pick up any basic it's like in every expanded deck every standard deck everyone needs at least four of these to play the TCG and what are the chances that once kind of sword and shield ends print their print run and it's no longer readily available that all right well people still need their quick balls and then the price will go up and i figured you know what if i could pick these up for like less than a dollar maybe in like three months from now maybe it'll just be worth three dollars per card and you can kind of like triple your investment so I did just take a quick look and there are some for like 84 cents and i think it was like 78 cents for shipping and so then I was trying to think about it. We talked about it on stream and kind of came to the conclusion there's basically only two routes this thing could take. And we'll call it the Ultra Ball route and the Custom Catcher route. The Ultra Ball route. Uh, basically, if this card gets reprinted into Oblivion and they give it out as League promos. And yeah, look how many printings there are of this. And basically what happened was you can pick this thing up for less than a nickel <laughs> before shipping. Uh, so either it'll go plummeting down or it can follow something similar to the custom catcher route, which I believe at one point was up to close to $10 for an uncommon card. Uh, I'm not sure if that was the reverse or what, but you know, okay. What are the chances it'll take the custom cut catcher route? Ultimately, I did not end up uh, purchasing it. However, there was one seller again. We saw it earlier that kind of has like 1200 for sale for 84 cents. Uh, so I did find it times like, oh man, what if I pick a couple hundred of these? Ultimately, I think to even offload it, even if the price would go to like $4, uh, would be quite a bit of work. And then you have to deal with shipping and fees and stuff like that. Um, probably not worth the effort and it could just go the ultra ball route. Uh, so just an interesting thought experiment that I kind of had. All right, we can't have a Pokemart without talking about Hidden Fates. We're gonna start off with Charizard, big surprise. And oh my, it seems to at least TC on TCG players settle around $200. That's what we were saying from the beginning. Uh, I was kind of wavering, like, oh man, I guess it is gonna go lower, but it seems to be just stuck at this $200 for a near mint Charizard. And one interesting thing is sold listings for PSA. The 9 and 10 are actually super close, um, where to me that means that, oh, well, I have a Charizard, which I kind of want to get graded, but I don't think I'll get a 10. Hey, getting it graded for a 9 could still be worth it. You could still sell that for th over $300, even though the PSA 10 is going for low 400s, which I find very interesting. But even more interesting, what is going on with the sealed product of Hidden Fate, specifically the ETB? I saw this on a different uh, YouTube channel where they p were opening ETB and saying like, oh my gosh, this thing's go for like $100 right now. And it's true. I, this is really interesting. Actually, I don't understand this at all. Why would anyone pick up a ETB, Hidden Fates ETB for like $90, close to $100 for ETB when 
like the Ultra Ball and Great Ball, which basically has the same amount of packs. Uh, yeah, it doesn't have the sleeves and the dice, but you know, there's no reason to pay double. These things are still, I still see these at Targets and Walmarts and stuff at GameStop, and you get they're still being sold at basically MSRP for, and you still get the same amount of packs. The only difference is like, oh, well, that one has the stained glass promo, which I love. But if you really need that promo and you really need Hidden Face Pack, pick up these darn ball collections and then pick up the promo on the secondary market for $6. The only thing I can imagine is this is simply the supply is running up, which would naturally bring up the price. Why the demand is there, I have no idea to for these things to be going for $100. But if you still want some Hidden Fates, don't get the ETB. Just get one of the ones that there's still tins at Walmart at Target for the $20. And if you really need the stained glass birds, go to TCG Player, $6, done. <laughs> Anyways, guys, that's going to be it for today. Um, I think we're probably want to do this more often going forward. I do want to talk about some more vintage cards, but there was just some interesting news I did want to talk about real quick. So as always, guys, thanks for watching. If you have any thoughts or any suggestions for a future episode, let me know in a comment down below. On that, thanks for watching. I'm Moana Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time.